guys, Nicole in Nesting Haven. Today I have a Salvation Army haul for you. I will start down here. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen this quite a while ago. I forgot to show you guys on YouTube this. A nice little Norman Rockwell piece I scored for $2.99. I couldn't resist. It has a little bit of damage to it. There's a few little, I don't know, pinholes in it and the bottom has just a smidge of like a water line or something, but for $3, I couldn't resist this. It's super cute. I love Norman Rockwell stuff, so I grabbed that. I'm going to hang on to this for a while. I probably will end up reselling it eventually, but for right now, I don't have room in the booth, and I'm going to go ahead and enjoy that for a bit. And then I picked up this 75th anniversary planter's jar. This is from 1981. <laughs> These kind of go all over the place in price online. I picked up for 99 cents. I saw some, probably the average price for this would be between uh, 20 and 25 online maybe, but I would probably go ahead and sell this for 10 to 15 in my booth. And then this Quaker, old fashioned Quaker oats. It's a ceramic piece here, it has the recipe on the back super cool it's $2.99 I went ahead and took a chance on it it is supposed to have a lid and it's missing the lid but I thought this would be nice for a utensil holder I might even just keep it and use it myself but with the lid on it I saw these going somewhere between $90 all the way down to around 35 I think so I'm not sure what I would get for it without the lid but I might hang on to it myself for utensil holder or I'll just um, display it as a utensil holder in my booth and just buy some inexpensive, um, like an inexpensive set of utensils and from like the Dollar Tree or something and stick them in there so people, you know, will, will know what to use it for and be like, aha, I could use it for that. So one or the other, I'll do that. Uh, I thought that was a super cool piece anyways for $3. And then down here, I got some loons, ducks. <laughs> I don't know if they're ducks or loons. They're painted quite crazy here, but super pretty. They're all, they were all different prices. This one was $1.99. We got this one for $1.99. And then maybe this one was a different price. Okay, $2.99. They had other ones there were a little bit bigger, but the prices kept going up and up. And this was a comfortable price for me to know that I could flip a decent profit on them. So um, those will be going in the booth. And then these are really pretty here. There's two of them. I almost didn't get them because they were $3 a piece, but they were just so pretty. I knew someone would want these for and would probably pay at least 10 for them so i'm gonna put those in the booth but they're so gorgeous guys they're this really nice sea blue they almost look like sea glass but i don't even know how to describe them they're just gorgeous um so yeah i'm gonna put those in the booth i haven't decided on a price yet but at least ten dollars a piece and then i picked up a vintage easter tin for 49 cents I couldn't resist another Easter tin. I found one uh, earlier this year, so I guess I'm into the vintage tins lately, so I'm a collector now, apparently. <laughs> but they have different um, little storyline graphics on the side. I guess it's not really a storyline. I thought it was Peter Rabbit, like the story on the side, but all the way around it, super cute. A great deal, 49 cents. And then I picked up this little wooden cat trinket box here from, what is it from? Well, it's $149. This is from Handmade in India, Sarah's Imports, Inc. So I'm not sure the age on it, but it looks to be quite old, probably the 70s maybe. But that'll go in the booth for probably $8 or so. And then I picked up this bird knickknack. I believe it's an Oreo. Um, that'll go in the booth. What did I pay for this? So $2.99. I'll probably sell it for around eight to ten. It's quite large. And then I picked up this little dish, two-tier dish here for $2.99. Um, yeah, so. 
not much to say on that. I'll put that in the booth for probably 10, yeah, probably around $10. And then, <laughs> I don't know. You guys ever have one of those days where you're in the store shopping and you're like a giant kid? This was $1.99 and it was hilarious. I had to get it. Wait for it. <laughs> It squeals. I don't know why it's not squealing, but it squeals too. <laughs> I don't know. My kids were kind of afraid of it, but I thought it was hilarious. I had to get it. I think it's fun. I like to chase the dogs around with it. It's quite hilarious. And then this was $1.99, and I solely got this because my husband was with me, and he did it the first time, and I could not get the stupid ball in this, so... I bought it so I could practice and show them that I can do it too. <laughs> this here is a vintage teddy bear put out by Gary Charles LTD. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's, I would say the 70s. But I got this to um, have my kids practice all these things on. You can learn to tie the snap, the zipper, the button. What else does it have? That might be it. You have the belt there. But I thought that was a fun little toy for them to play with. These go for around $20 online. But this was, I think they sell their uh, stuffies for either a dollar or dollar ninety nine. So not too much of a deficit in my wallet there. <laughs> this mug I thought was super cute. I've been trying not to pick up mugs lately because they don't sell in the booth worth poo but this one was super cute I might just hang on to it myself but I love the little Sunday and the pig it says you are what you eat really sweet it was only 99 cents this is a Norcrest branded one I didn't get a chance to look this up but it's probably 60s or 70s uh, by looking at the graphic if you guys are interested in getting this maybe you can uh, research that and find it online and the last items I picked up were some gardening books. This one here is Gardening Made Easy. This was $1.99. It's pretty neat. It's like in a binder style. I haven't really seen those before. And um, has like an index in it. So very cool book. I like anything to do with gardening. I'm sure you guys have been watching my videos a while. You know that. So I got that one. And then these ones are for... House plants. I don't see too many on house plants, so that was a cool find as well. I believe these were not $1.99 a piece. So I'm not sure if they're the same or not. If they're the same, I'll probably sell one in the booth. For some reason, I thought they were different. Success with house plants. Are they not? Are they these exactly the same? Okay. Group six. Are these the same? I don't know. They're kind of, the way they're set up in the binder, they might just be in there differently. I feel like they're probably different though. They gotta be different. I think it would say like, school bus. <laughs> You'd think it would say, um, you know, part one, part two or whatever, but they seem to be different, I think. There's a lot of plants. I didn't realize there were so many house plants. I want to start building up my house plant collection because they're great air filters. But I only have a few right now. Some of them have died. I've been a bad plant mama lately, so I need all the help I can get. So I'll be reading those soon. Well, that's my Salvation Army haul for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you next time.